Fulfilling Your Mission to Gaia November 8, 2015 As the process of shifting frequencies of reality accelerates, many of our leaders have been moving through initiations, which are initiated by the forces of darkness, greed, and power overs. These dark ones are becoming concerned that perhaps those silly prophecies might be real. Therefore, they are going after those who have a presence on the Dark One's greatest enemy, the Internet. The Internet was created by the military to send their secret messages, but was taken over by the people on Earth. It has been the greatest tool for unity consciousness ever, which is quite frightening to those of the Dark. The Dark Ones can easily control small groups of frightened people, but if the entire world unites in love and light, they have no defense. Despite their efforts to gain corporate control over the Internet, they have failed. Humanity has found a wonderful manner to communicate with people all over the planet, and the great power of planetary consciousness is beginning to evolve. As long as humans see themselves as being alone on a hostile planet, they are easily controlled. On the other hand, when humans reach out to people all over the world, especially those who propaganda has said are their enemies, they find the camaraderie of we are all people on our planet. As united, humanity begins to perceive themselves as members of planet Earth, rather than just their own local area, they realize that they all have the same desire to live a happy life on a healthy planet. It is then that humanity looks at their planet, not as something that is there for them to use, but instead as their home that they must protect. Once the humans realize that it is up to them to protect the planet that has served as their home, they can search the Internet to see how the corporations led by the forces of power over others have created a reality in which they believe they, the corporate lost ones, must have power over the planet. It is this power over the planet that has allowed them to destroy the land, pollute the air and the water, and block the sun's ray with the extremely polluted environment that they have created. They have created this environment because they worship money, which they see as the best means to control humanity. These lost ones have banded together to create wars in which they financially support both sides. Therefore, whoever wins or loses is not important because the dark ones win either way. Do they care that either way the planet loses? No they do not care. However, with the expanded light entering Earth's atmosphere, the hidden war of the light of power within, against the dark of power over, is turning now to the advantage of the power within. This shift is because those who have come to assist Gaia with her process of planetary ascension are awakening to their own immense power within. This power within stems from humanity's ever-increasing awareness of its own inner connection with its multi-dimensional self. When Gaia's resonant frequency was lower and the darkness silently ruled your world, humanity was often lost in the third-dimensional illusion that they had to be led from outside of themselves. Outer leaders were needed because many humans had not yet discovered their own inner power. Now, as the higher frequencies of light are entering your world, your consciousness is expanding. As your consciousness expands, your perceptions expand. It is then that you begin to have a conscious perception, and hence connection, with the members of your own multidimensional self. At first, many believe that this powerful, loving being is above them in some heavenly world. However, because all the world can communicate with all the world, there is a constant stream of information that tells humanity that they are higher dimensional beings that have chosen to take a third dimensional earth vessel within the now to assist with planetary ascension. Furthermore, higher frequencies of light are entering the atmosphere of Gaia's planet. In fact, it has been noted by scientists that Cygnus X3 is emitting high frequency gamma waves to earth. Andrew Collins has written extensive about Cygnus X3 on his website and book at www.andrewcollins.com web link. Because the higher frequencies of light are more accessible now than they have been since before the fall of Atlantis, we will now assist you in integrating this higher frequency of light with each of the elements that have merged together to create your physical form. As you blend the higher light into the earth, air, fire and water of your own earth vessel, we ask you to share your process with Gaia, so that the higher frequencies of light will also merge with the planetary earth, air, fire and water, via the power of your own breath. 
Your first breath denotes the entry of your multidimensional self into your third dimensional earth vessel, and your last breath denotes your exit of your multidimensional self from your physical earth body. However, within this now, there is a special event in which our volunteers can choose to merge so completely with the higher light that they can flash into their higher dimensional light body before they experience what was known as death in their former incarnations to earth. We ask that you take a moment to enter into a meditative, higher state of consciousness. As your consciousness expands into higher frequencies, allow a higher dimensional expression of your multidimensional self to merge with the higher light which is slowly and steadily entering Gaia's atmosphere. Please remember, our dear volunteers to Earth, that your physical Earth vessels are living portals through which your multidimensional self can transmit the higher frequencies of light into your body, and your planet, to ground the higher frequencies of light into the elemental aspects of Gaia. Through your personal portal of your higher dimensional self, you will collect the higher frequencies of light, pull them through your inner, light portal, and ground them within Gaia's planetary body, one element at a time. It is for this service to Gaia that many of you volunteered to take a form within this now of personal and planetary transmutation. Because more and more of you are remembering your own multidimensional self, you can connect with your higher frequencies of self. Once connected with your higher self, you will pull that higher dimensional energy down through your personal portal and into the earth, air, fire and water of earth. Within your portal, as well as within our earth vessels, are contained all of your inner elementals. Earth elementals, skeleton and bodily structure. Water elementals, inner fluids, such as blood, cerebral spinal fluid, as well as water. Air elementals, the ever-expanding power of your breath. Fire elementals, your neural synapses and the threefold flame within your high heart. We will assist you to use your innate powers of unconditional love and inner violet fire to merge with the higher light, unconditional love, and use the highest spectrum of this light, violet light fire, to transmute the lower frequencies of reality into a higher frequency of expression. Transmutation is defined as the act of changing a substance, tangible or intangible, from one form or state into another. To the alchemists of old, this meant the conversion of one physical substance into another, particularly base metals such as lead, into valuable silver and gold. We begin with earth elementals. You will begin your process by opening your inner, multidimensional portal to connect with a higher expression of your own multidimensional self. Using the power of your fifth dimensional imagination, collect the higher light and transport it via your inner, multidimensional portal into your own inner earth elementals. Feel, and or imagine, this higher light as it circulates throughout the earth elementals of your physical earth vessel. Using your immense power of your unconditional love, share this higher light with all of Gaia's earth elementals. Now, blaze, blaze, blaze the violet fire, transmuting all shadow into light, light, light. The water elementals. Continue your process by opening your inner, multi-dimensional portal to connect with a higher expression of your own multi-dimensional self. Using the power of your fifth dimensional imagination, collect the higher light and transport it via your inner, multi-dimensional portal into your own inner water elementals. Feel, and or imagine, this higher light as it circulates throughout the water elementals of your physical earth vessel. Using your immense power of your unconditional love, share this higher light with all of Gaia's water elementals. Now, blaze, blaze, blaze the violet fire, transmuting all shadow into light, light, light. The Air Elementals Now, open your inner, multidimensional portal to connect with a higher expression of your own multidimensional self. Using the power of your fifth dimensional imagination, collect the higher light and transport it via your inner, multidimensional portal into your own inner, Air Elementals. Feel, and or imagine, this higher light as it circulates throughout the air elementals of your physical earth vessel. Using your immense power of your unconditional love, share this higher light with all of Gaia's air elementals. Now, blaze, blaze, blaze the violet fire, transmuting all shadow into light, light, light. The fire elementals. Now, open your inner, 
multi-dimensional portal to connect with a higher expression of your own multi-dimensional self. Using the power of your fifth dimensional imagination, collect the higher light and transport it via your inner, multi-dimensional portal into your own inner fire elementals. Feel, and or imagine, this higher light as it circulates throughout the air elementals of your physical fire vessel. Using your immense power of your unconditional love, share this higher light with all of Gaia's fire elementals. Now, blaze, blaze, blaze the violet fire, transmuting all shadow into light, light, light. In closing, we ask that you take a moment of your now to feel and know, the power that you have within your own multidimensional self. How important you are to Gaia and to process of planetary ascension. How much Gaia needs you and thanks you for your personal contribution to her planetary ascension. Beloved volunteers to assist Earth with her transition, we the members of your higher self commend you for your courage and dedication to fulfill the mission for which you took embodiment. Blessings. We are the Arcturians and the members of your own higher self. Channeled by Suzanne Lee. Suzanne Lee, PhD.blogspot.com.